I've talked about the versatility of the Blackstone Pizza Oven. The options are endless. But today, we're gonna get a little offensive. Offensive? Maybe. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Do you like pickles? Of course. Do you like bacon? Love them. Do you like pineapple? Yep. Do you like it on your pizza? Nope. Exactly. Nope. But I'm gonna prove you wrong. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a bacon pineapple pickin. Wait, bacon pineapple pickle pizza. Ooh, you got there it. it is. Say that three times fast. But don't bother saying it fast right now because I'm too busy eating this delicious Dang. slice. It does look good. It's time for a pizza party. To start this delightful race to the finish line of greatness and tastiness, <laughs> we've got a mound of bacon. I'm talking a mound. We need crispy bacon. The debate of bacon. Do you like it that softer, pliable, or flimsy bacon? Nope. Do you want the extra crispy bacon? Like a nine or 10. On this occasion, I would agree extra crispy is the way to go because we want this to hold up and have some texture and uh, pull that off and drain that on some paper towels when it's finished. While it's cooling, we've got just a couple more things to do. First off, pickles. Now, you can go a couple routes. You can get them in the jar. You could have various sweet, you could go sweet pickles if you want, but I recommend at this point that we go with a traditional kosher dill pickle. Not necessarily kosher brand, but the full size dill pickle, and we are gonna slice them thin. This, oh, no. oh, cool this takes this to like a magic territory where it's not a gigantic really bite of pickle, but real, real thin, almost like the thin onions would do with a smash burger. So we're gonna get those nice and thin. And then of course, the, the, the debatable situation is the pineapple. Oh, geez. Here we go. You definitely want fresh pineapple. I would recommend fresh pineapple, not in the can. It's gonna be like, it, it's more firm. It has more body to it, so to speak. Uh, so slice that into pickle or I'm sorry, slice that into pineapple chips. We kind of get into a thin chips chip tear. Chips. chips and chips. Uh, essentially what I'm looking for is the same thickness of our pickles. Now our bacon is done. Let's pull this over here and chop this into large chunks, not bacon bits, because this is the main protein for this pizza. So I'm looking for like some larger bites. Keep the fat in there, because it's had time to slowly cook and get crispy everywhere, so you're really not gonna lose. You're not gonna have that giant chunk of fatty bacon. So definitely chop that up, set it aside, and now let's start working on our dough. This is the star of the show every time, no matter what kind of pizza you have, the dough is the one that sets it apart. So we've got this pre-made dough from the grocery store. If you make your own, go for it. But today we're using the pre-made. This saves you time, this saves you energy and stress because it is just a money maker no matter what. Take your time, stretch it out. Essentially what you're wanting is a nice round pizza. Don't focus on working out like the crust, the exterior. Just get it nice and flat and the crust will take care of itself as your toppings start to show up. Speaking of toppings, let's talk about our sauces. We're not going traditional today. We're gonna be doing two different sauces. A ranch as a base. So we're gonna we're not gonna spread this out. We're gonna just drizzle this all over. It's so kind of pretty. it's so, so it pretty. is so beautiful. It's pretty now, but it becomes beautiful when it contrasts with this wicked barbecue sauce. And today we're gonna be using a special TD's Broom Barbecue Atomic Pineapple. Okay, this is gonna up on the pineapple. This is gonna pair well with the pineapple that's going on, but it also has the sweetness and the heat that we're gonna look for. Now, of course, cheese-wise, let's go basic, original. We got some shredded mozzarella. Take that oh, all, classic. Cla yeah, let's just classic. say classic mozzarella all over. Then we've got that chopped up bacon, those thick slices. Get aggressive with it. Cover that bad boy with tons of bacon. Of course, follow that up with, personally, my favorite, because I've never had this before, thin sliced pickle chips. Get pretty aggressive on that as well. Cover, cover, cover. And then of course, lastly, we've got our pineapple chips. Once you do that, my friends, we are officially Looks ready. Weird, to be honest. It, it's gonna be a strange play, but I think we're gonna enjoy this. So let's go ahead and, what's that term? We're not gonna mount, launch. we're going to launch our pizza into our Blackstone pizza oven. I have been preheating for probably 20 minutes on low. We're ready to do this. Also, I forgot to mention, we you definitely wanna make sure that you've got some flour, some semolina. Semolina is gonna help you with the sliding off as it launches into the oven. So make sure that you get that underneath your dough once it is finished and ready to go. Now, this is beauty, this oven. It's a quick pie. I recommend this. Beauty. You could do this in 90 seconds. Truthfully, it's be, it'll be edible and it'll look good. Go the slow route. Take your time. Let's do like three-ish minutes. Yeah, so you're gonna forever. cook. All I know we're just taking minutes. all day, but let's set this down and slice it 
up. Now, as you slice this, remember, this is good. This is all fair and game, but we definitely need a post dust before this sucker is done. And today we're using the Blackstone Outlaw Barbecue. It's gonna accompany that pineapple in such a great way. And my friends, this Are you sure? is what you're left. And dude, crust integrity, right? Yeah, that's like, pretty. That's beautiful. Pretty stunning. We got great crust here. It's, it's not flimsy. All the things. All the stuff. We'll see, I'll let you know. Pickle, bacon, pineapple. Verdict. I've made the argument before, there's two kinds of people in the world. Those, those like who Snow like Diamond? and those who like pineapple on their pizza. <laughs> Turns out I might be one of those guys that loves Neil Diamond and now loves pineapple ah. on my pizza. Never before did I enjoy pineapple yeah, all right. until today. To read the comment section of this video. It's fine. We'll if you see. don't if you don't like pineapple. Leave it below. But make Neil sure Diamond or no. Make sure those pickles meet up with your pineapple and the bacon. When you do, I'm just saying, it feels like a pizza party to me. I don't know about y'all, but give it a run. Cheers to the pizza party.